This week, my wife continues the journey of building her biggest piece of custom furniture ever. And this week, Andrea lands on a beautiful stain color, we go out of the country, and of course, there's plenty of ups and downs along the way. So welcome to the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. We started this week off with a trip out for lunch and supplies, and it was just such a beautiful day to do it. You know what else is incredible? What? Where are we going in two days, babe? Cabo! This is our first trip together in 15 years of marriage out of the country. We forgot to say that uh, we're going to lunch now because before going to Cabo, you gotta go to Cabo. Yeah. yeah. Bring your own kombucha? I mean, what? This is a life hack, isn't it? So beautiful outside, huh? Let's go! After lunch, it was time to head to the home improvement store. Welcome to the Home Depot! But very quickly, we had to abort mission. Bye, Home Depot. We'll see you later. We're going to Cabo. Home Depot didn't work out, but that's all right. You know what? Let's just go to Cabo. We took a much needed rest break and went to Cabo and it was definitely more beautiful than we anticipated. Now we will say that we didn't take hardly any videos of the trip and that was intentional because it was meant to be a rest break and I just knew if I take all the cameras, it's just gonna be a work <laughs> trip and so we intentionally left those behind and just enjoyed the beauty of Mexico. So happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone who's watching. <laughs> Back from Cabo, huh? We're back. Back to work. Are we going to be able to get back to work? Or do we need to go back to the <laughs> we beach? Need a, we need a few more days recovery. The vacation was awesome. The travel day was was brutal. It We're was getting brutal. too old for that. What time did we get home? About 1 a.m. So we got to sleep about 2 a.m. It was almost 1.30, yeah. And then we had school the next morning for kids. So we had to get up early, really early, and get all their stuff ready. My sister got most of their stuff ready. She is awesome. We might be moving a little bit slow today. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but we're kind of getting a late start anyway because it was sprinkling earlier. So we got computer work done. So the rain is on pause and we're ready to get to work. Come on, slow poke. Wait for me. You know, someone's got to film these things, you know? <laughs> That's my job. Did I throw you off there, not backing up while you're trying to get in? <laughs> So where are we going again? A love strip. A love strip. Every <laughs> single day it's a love strip. Oh, you're singing the song today. <laughs> it goes through my head every time we go to Lowe's. <laughs> Feeling like a NASCAR driver today. Dude, it's <laughs> easy over here, babe. Hey, race car driver, you need to slow down in this parking lot. My goodness. El Palomo! Uh, I feel like we're back in Cabo. Is this the taco truck? That's pretty good Spanish accent there. When we were in Cabo, I was working on my Spanish accent. <laughs> I was like, Cabo San Lucas in tacos, tacos, tacos. You know what I'm saying? Si, senorita. <laughs> ah, si, si, si. It's time for a siesta. Uh -oh. I'm not used to working all the time. <laughs> Uno momento, por favor. 
All right, not really. We got yeah. actually got to get to work. Yeah, I'm okay. just still feeling like jet lag from travel. It was a long travel day. Look, a car. get our car on the way in. Look at this. I have never seen this before. We have never seen the likes of this. Oh, no. Not That's good. What we need. Empty. What's the deal, Carrie? They're out of all of their red up plywood that we need. I guess we won't be needing this. That's okay. We still need to get some stain samples and full chemicals. I'm using a completely different kind of stain for this project, and so I wanted to get several options to make sure I found the right one for this project. Hi, we just need some samples. Um, these three colors here. Give me like 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay, she's going to mix that up. She's about 10 minutes, so we're going to go grab some pool chemicals. And somewhere between paint and pool chemicals, Andrea got a little distracted. She mix it. What the heck happened to her? <laughs> this one is like me to get the basket. There were ferns next to the basket, so I've been looking for ferns. You were on a mission to get a basket, and you came back with a full basket. Where are we going? The pool chemicals are way back here. What? Oh, one of my friends is a little ugly. You didn't, babe. Yeah, we said, yeah, we said pool chemicals. Pool chemicals. And halt. You are getting way too distracted. I am cutting the cord. I do feel like the a child out here. Where's the pool chemicals? This way. After we finally got Andrea back on track, it was time to go get pool chemicals. And you may remember how we got the pool up and running a couple weeks back, but we had a few issues come up while in Cabo. So why do we need these pool chemicals again? Our pool turned really green when we were in Cabo. It's like, we came back, it rained, like the, most of the time we were gone. It went from like crystal clear to it is a green swamp in a week, it was pretty bad. So we need a few pool chemicals. Yeah. So once we found all of the pool chemicals, got our paint samples, and of course some extra ferns, we we're ready to check out. Hey, El Paloma Kitchen is smelling muy delicioso! So, since Lowe's didn't have the plywood that we need for all the shelves, going to Home Depot. Do you know what's by Home Depot? What? Chipotle! Ay, 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 senorita! <laughs> I think we're having withdrawals. We are having Cabo withdrawals because we literally <laughs> ate tacos, tacos, tacos. Having... Like, every single day, at least two meals a day were tacos, tacos, tacos. It was amazing! So what do you think the chances are that Home Depot has the wood? Well, I think they might have it, but their saw was broken when we went there last time. Oh lord. I doubt they fixed it. And I don't know if we can fit plywood in here right now. Will you go see if the saw is in working order? And then call me if it is so I don't have to get out of the car. Anything for you, mi amor. I'm on a Home Depot mission! A guy was watching you. All right, here comes the test. Is it on? Hey, we appear to be in business. Hey, yes, the saw is officially open for business. Can you come inside? Well, look who it is. It's been so long, me and more. I missed you. <laughs> We've got the wood, now we just need the saw, baby. Thankfully, the saw was working, and so I had them cut down these boards into smaller sections that would become the shelves inside the cabinet.
Wait for me. She never does wait for me. So I've been looking at Lowe's website to figure out what aisle Edge of is on. But as the employee just informed me, I'm not in Lowe's. I don't know you go. I'll push it for you, Miyamoto. Man, this cabinet just keeps getting more and more expensive, huh? So it's almost an hour later and we still haven't gotten lunch. What happened? Ooh, that's why I'm fizzling out. This time? Why I'm thinking I'm in Lowe's when I'm in Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> I could not figure out. He was like, that's the blue box store. And I was like, what the heck does that mean? It's like, why does it matter what color the website is? <laughs> All right, so that means we need to go to Chipotle. Welcome to the land of the Chipotles. So do we eat in the car or are we going to wait till so we get home? I know, it's So are we going to eat in the car or are we waiting till we get home? I'm driving really fast. I'm so, so hungry. hungry. If you're not driving, I would pull my food out of the bag. <laughs> not going to lie. Get it faster! I'm so hungry! <laughs> so hungry! Let's go, 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 go! Come on! Sparkling waters! Mm. How good is it, Neil? After a lovely lunch, we are finally ready to get back outside, unload the car, and get to work. It's raining. Oh, what in the world? It's sunny. Where's the rain coming from? I guess from that cloud. We journey on. It's so bright, I can only open one eye. You gotta be scrappy to get these scraps, you know? Uh, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna try out these stains really quick on some of my scrap pieces, just so we can get a good idea. That way, next time we get out here, we are ready to get started on finishing this piece. It's not even brown. That's like gray. What happened there? Mixed nuts. I've never seen nuts that look like that. I'm gonna say that I think these didn't get mixed correctly. Oh, okay, I think it just needs to be mixed up. I think she put the color in and she didn't mix these. Okay, the color is definitely not mixed up. So I'm gonna mix these up some and then we'll test them out. That's weird. I've never had them not mix the color for me. Whoa! We're gonna work out. Hopefully these are closed good. We're in a white shirt. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, now it's brown. First time I opened it, it was black. And I was like, I've never seen chocolate chips or nuts that look like that. What flavor do we have here? I think this is the mixed nuts one. Okay, that's looking kind of good. Okay, looks a lot like the one next to it. This is chocolate chips. That does look a lot like chocolate chips. Sounds delicious. This is mixed nuts. Yeah, we got all the food ones. I think we were really hungry. <laughs> This is pine bark. Which one do you want me to try first? Mixed nuts. It's actually the only one I could remember. Where are you going? She just left me here all alone in this garage with a bunch of stains. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, you're back. I grabbed some paper towels. Oh, I thought you were gone forever. I was done. Okay, so I went with like a totally different kind of stain and in case you're wondering why I figured I'd explain myself But I really really don't like the way that red oak stains But it's pretty much the only hardwood that I can get a hold of easily Locally and so I decided I would get a semi-transparent stain Which is technically a deck stain, but it'll work fine for inside just because it'll help kind of cover up the grain because when red oak stains the grain will soak it up really really dark and so you end up with this stripey effect that I'm just it's not what I'm going for for this piece and so I'm actually liking that I'll let it dry I'm gonna try the other colors on some other scrap pieces though I'm 
gonna try more of the chocolate chips color on this last board mostly because my samples are all a little bit different colors so I want to make sure I like it on multiple boards all right, so I'm gonna let these dry and then we'll come back and get a final look at them before picking a color. But I actually feel good about the samples that I chose. I was a little nervous when I opened it and I was like, that's black, that's not even brown. They look good. All right, we let all of our stain samples dry and brought them inside just cause the lighting's totally different. I always like to see it in this space and I think I have decided on the winner. I went ahead and added a little bit more to this one but I feel like the camera's probably not gonna pick up the difference between these two colors but I like this one. It's the mixed nuts color so we're ready to go grab some stain so we can actually finish this piece. Mixed nuts, sounds delicious. We got a new helper today. What? what are you looking at? Whoa, look at all the water in our trash can. Did it seriously rain that much? Before making our daily trip to the hardware store, we made a quick pancake stop. Is it good? Yeah! I'm too close to the DIY. All right, <laughs> we'll put it on DIY. Back at Lowe's, every single day. Where are we? Lowe's. Classic. Once at Lowe's, we picked up our final stain color and got the approval of our young assistant. Asher, what do you think, bud? Hey, you think we need to get some gas or anything? Living life on the edge. Zero miles, just in time. Whoa. Well, it is what it is. Ma'am, that'll be it for today. Is there anything else I can help you with? Is that a no or? I left, I left my number on the receipt, names. Esteban, mi amor. Let's go! After getting back to the house, we were finally ready to get back to work. But first, we did a little quick check on the pool. How are the chemis looking? I don't know how it used all that chlorine, but it did. Probably because we it got like, what, another foot of rain last night? Yeah, it was crazy. Well, hey, the color's looking much better. Well, it's gotten blue and beautiful outside again all of a sudden. What happened here, no Texas? All right, I've got all four of my doors out here. I've got my sandpaper and my mask ready. I'm gonna grab my orbital sander and sand all of the flat surfaces and probably sand the corners down a little bit just so they're not so sharp. And then on these edges that I use the router on, I'll probably just go back by hand to sand those. But there's a little bit of sanding to do. We're gonna focus on getting these doors sanded and then stained so that that can dry tonight and we can take them to get glass tomorrow. And then we'll worry about seeing the rest of the piece while we're waiting on glass. Alright, this is the cut. I'll flip it over. I'm gonna see in the back real quick and then I'll get the details just right here. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick sand on that routed detail by hand and then I'll be done with this first door. I'm done with door number one. Now I've just got three more. 
I thought this would be a pretty quick task, but like everything else with this cabinet, it is massive and so even sanding the doors took quite a while. And when you're filming the same thing for that long, well, the cameraman has to find his own ways to entertain himself. You look really weird. <laughs> you have a mask on, I figured I'd get a mask on. Senorita, it is I, El Luchador. I have come to entertain you. It's actually me, Esteban, under the mask. So we got the boys all these luchador masks in Cabo and they've been having quite a lot of fun with them. Uno mas, senorita. Uno mas. Oh my gosh, I'm done sanding. I brought a gift for you. <laughs> A mask of your own. Are we gonna go wrestle? We should. Why is it wet? I don't know. All right, I have all of my doors sanded and ready to stain, so we're gonna get to staining, but it's starting to get a little bit toasty in the sun, so I think we need to put our tin up first. Good call. So now we're actually ready to stain, and I'm just gonna try and stain the four doors today so that Next week we can be ready to take these to the glass store first thing, but I want these to be good and dry before I hand them off because I'm going to let them install the glass this time. Oh, that looks pretty. It does look really pretty. I finished staining the back side of this first door, so I'm gonna flip it over and do the front, and then this door's done. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, I flipped it over and I noticed there were some spots where I put the stain on a little bit thick and it kind of seeped over the edge a little bit, so I'm gonna sand it down just a little bit so I can blend it before I put the stain on. It is water-based, so it dries fast, and you can see your lap marks. You wanna work really fast on these long stretches. <laughs> This color is turning out really pretty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like it. I feel like it's camouflaging the the stripiness of red oak. This looks really good. Yeah, it does. Is that a raindrop? I don't know. Oh, look at we got clouds coming in. Okay, first door is done. The wind is picking up. We can see the line of storms now. So rather than getting halfway through another door and really regretting starting it, we're just gonna go ahead and get everything put away. It's Friday afternoon, so that's it for this week. Next week, I'm hoping to get all of the staining finished, the glass installed. Hey, exciting note is all of my autoimmune stuff. My stomach has been amazing. so good. We really got some answers and that has been really encouraging oh good i'm so excited to get this done though it's i'm like oh it's looking so good well amazing job on this cabinet i'm loving the progress and we've even got a stain color picked out that's so exciting yeah it's coming along it's still feeling really slow but then i have to remember that we did travel out of the country i had to get ready for that and then a little bit of time recovering from the travel days once we got back and then i feel like our work days were a lot of back and forth to the hardware stores with one of them being out of what we needed and then the saw being broken and just kind of felt like a lot of that 
Yeah. <laughs> but that's just kind of real life is there's ups and downs in construction. That's just the way it goes. So we can either wait to publish a video until next month or we can just show you our progress every week. And so we just love to take you along for the adventure. So thanks for joining us for the adventure this week. And we will catch you in the next episode where we're definitely making some exciting progress. Buenos dias, mi amor. <laughs> si, senorita. <laughs> ah, si, si, si. This guy's really thirsty. We're going over 100. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good morning. Remember that one time when we went to the beach and I put on sunscreen everywhere except my feet? <laughs> oh wait, that was yesterday. Amigo! Oh my gosh! Man, this cookie's $84. This muffin's $86. Jeez, $314 for Starbucks? <sighs> One day. Well, little birdie popped in to say hello. Hey, oh, he's pooping. Oh, goodness. Guys, th this is a family TV show. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. Oh, come on, guys. Did you really have to lay it on me that thick? Well, Home Depot saw it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Home Depot saw it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obviously you. <laughs> <laughs> you like lean over and just, <laughs> you like scrunched your face oh. even. Like lean over and you're like. <laughs> That's the single most embarrassing and hilarious piece of footage I have ever taken. Oh, you're oh my such gosh. A guy. Dude, El Paloma Kitchen is smelling muy gracioso, barista. Oh, and rolling. Why are you filming me picking your nose? I think you're just picking your nose, were you not? I was, but why are you filming me? I didn't mean to, I just caught it. I, it was natural. We just show the real stuff. I mean, this isn't acting, right, guys. This is real life. Kate! <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. ah senorita. Yes, really El it's sanding. Like your eyebrows are sticking out. <laughs> it's hard to breathe in this thing. It's hard to breathe in this thing. <laughs> Let me uh, move this out of the way for you. Go, little buddy! Oh! Hey! <laughs> you just crashed that into my minivan. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? It was, all right, you ready? Smile, all right, here we go. Don't talk this way, your breath yeah. smells terrible after eating that. It smells mm. like those garden salsa chips and sandwich. They're muy delicioso. Mm.